you've said before, you said in one of your videos, you believe sex outside of marriage degrades us. Like, talk to me about that. What do you mean? Well, for the what God created sex for, the bonding, the connecting, it makes a covenant between a man and a woman when they lay together to just come out and use bodies for a moment of pleasure to use bodies just to like gain some gratification instead of treating it like the holy thing that it is and what it was designed for is to degrade it is to defile it actually is what the word calls it defile their bodies and it's taking it and using it in a perverted way it's a perversion of god's version like god said it's for one man and one woman in in a marriage covenant that's his version so any other way to a man and a woman having sex on a Friday night that's not married, that's a perversion of God's version. And so, and and God, the way he designed our hearts and our souls and our bodies and our minds, it's literally, we release chemicals to someone we sleep with. We physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually attach to these people. That's the way God designed it to be. So in you're doing this with just a random person, you're attaching to all these people and that is not what God designed us for. And I feel like there's so freaking much heartbreak and heartache and pain that God didn't plan for us to have. But we we do because of choices we make and it brings that pain into our life because we pervert God's purposes for us. Do you think we should abstain like to live a moral Christian life we should abstain from having sex outside of marriage? Is that what you think? Yes. I'm concerned that a lot of Christians sort of adhere to that as a sort of a moral principle without cuz you you can just be uh you can not be a Christian and just go, go to church on Sunday and and save sex for marriage because you believe externally that's the right thing to do without having any sort of change in the heart and I'm concerned that sometimes yeah it's it's like a replacement of of knowing the true Jesus because it's easy it's easy to save sex for marriage it's not really easy to be generous yeah i mean it, it's probably you know <laughs> individual for each person what their struggle or temptation is like for me i I've, I've never tasted alcohol never even wanted to it just does not appeal to me so it's not like i'm over here constantly resisting alcohol cuz i'm like i want to say i've never tasted alcohol I'm like, that's not like a a braggy thing because it's literally not something that tempts me. You know, it's not like a, a thing I'm fighting myself to stay away from. So it's different for each person what their thing might be or if they are doing something specifically to say, hey, I don't do that. I'm better than you. Like, that's not what abstaining from sex is about. It's about I'm going to meet someone someday. And when we get married, I'm going to have such a connection with them. It's going to be so unique and special. That bonding that God created me for is only going to be with this person that I've given my life to. And no person walking around out there is going to know what that's like with me because I've saved it for this person. It's going to be so special and unique to us. No one else on earth will know him or me on the intimate level that we know each other. It's reserved for each other. Like that's what I believe it's supposed to be. And I believe it's supposed to be fun and exciting. 